on. We're getting more right. butts. And more seats. butts in seats. Dude, yeah, we're good. Crushing that though, like it's going to your good. show, I was like, oh man, he, mm. dude, it's it's honestly it's the thing I do best. That's uh, so that's been going good. Tempe was really fun. La Jolla was super fun, man. Like it's been a really good weekend. Oh, you've been, yeah. I mean, you've gained a God knows how many since last what, last year. It's been a year since you. Were yeah, on? I think I'm like doubled on Instagram. My my TikTok's kind of stagnant in terms of growth. It's still edging up. But it's that eventually you hit a point where you're like, you're, you plateau a bit. Yeah. But now, you know, YouTube's the big thing. I'm like, I, I'll figure out a crack in the nut. You takes like, time. Get open. Yeah, up. get open somehow. <laughs> somehow, man. Yeah, YouTube's great. Can we, <laughs> can we drink? What? Can, oh, in the first five minutes? Oh, do we, do we, we need a pop a top. Oh, well, no, we're not oh, there yeah. yet. Oh, well, calm we don't down. We have a tops to pop. Oh, you do. Are they hot or cold? Those are Shut hot. The They're hot, but whatever. Man, I said again. sweet things to you, and this is how you treat Yes. <laughs> Your mom, I'm dad. I hate everything. You are sweet, and you make people drinks. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. And no, I got one. Oh, you got yeah, one? Yeah, no, I got a cup of no, Jack like Daniels over here. Dude, you guys go hard in the paint. Hard. I, I don't want to. At my age, I'm like. Yeah, that's. I, oh, I already cracked. I. I, I what about your Premature head? craculation. <laughs> Baddies. <laughs> There we oh, go. Oh, you hit me in the face. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just punch it. You don't know want a little peek on me. It's racially ambiguous and batty. That guy's fucking ridiculous. So we don't know. Best not to ask yourself why. But my friend, you've arrived. Welcome to unsubscribe. Um, The other day, we had a comment. It was like, you guys act like you're so tough while you drink White Claw on the podcast. Like, motherfucker, do you? Do you think that's all we do? Dude. There's my, there's liquor all over the shelves. I don't know what this White Claw hate is. It's a great low calorie seltzer. Yeah. And some of us are 30s. Uh, we're all yeah. 40s. 40s. Fucking we, old. You got to start living different, man. Yeah. <laughs> my liver hurts old. every day. I just like it's a, in my head. It's this like <laughs> fucking pussy drinking White Claw. <laughs> You been to war? Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, Has this Miller of my life? Yeah. Uh, 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 I, I wear pink. That is how uh, comfortable I am. I don't give yeah. a fuck, man. He's killed a man. <laughs> <laughs> that gives what? you a, a different sense of security. <laughs> <laughs> you just stop caring. You're just like, yeah. Oh, fuck. Welcome to the uh, as oh. always, we have Eli Doubles at myself, Batty Streams, and our wonderful, great hair guest. Jay, thank you, welcome thank back, you. man. Thank you. you. I'm I happy to the be the first here. time you were here. Yeah, yeah, you weren't here the first time. Yeah, no, it's great to finally meet you, my dude. Yeah, I'm all right. I, yeah. I love you. You've never met him, but you've been to his house. That was his old house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about no, that. We filmed it in my old house. I was just. No, I called it a compound because there was like a gate to get in. Do, 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 do. And then and another like, gate. Yeah, and I was like, oh, this is a compound yeah. feel, you know? And That's why I was stone wall. <laughs> you were so confused by your text. I was like, what? compound are you talking about like question mark you're like, like oh new studio man <laughs> you're like that's a residential house <laughs> it's not like a warehouse and generator on the property <laughs> yeah. I, like looked, I was like what address did i send him <laughs> I was like, well, okay we're good nope, we're good nope, nope. dude how you been how you been dude i've been good i've been good we're out here working crushing yeah, life we're working. getting stuff done Gaming, all the good stuff, man. All the good stuff. Which not taking any breaks. I know you've been. Yeah, you, uh, it's one of my favorite things, man. It's like all the content you do. You are a hard working dude. You, you yeah. hard working. You <laughs> chill a little bit. <laughs> You're making the rest of us look bad. Yeah. You just slow down, man. No, it's uh, it's it's been a good grind, man. Uh, the, all the pieces come together every day. When I think about it, I'm very grateful for all the things I have. I know that's like a sappy thing to say, but I have a lot of peers who I like came up in the comedy scene with who aren't as uh, successful as I am, quote unquote successful. And so just to be where I'm at, I'm like, this is awesome. I'm very happy with what's going on. Dude, I, yeah. was, it, it just hit my head because it is, it's awesome to watch those friends like you where it's like, hey, that hard work and effort and you don't give it up. I'm pays like, oh, off, boy, man. just crushing it and continue. And you know the grind. Like, oh, yeah. Think it's an easy grind. It's like, oh, comedian. You're like, no, no. You fuck. just stand on the stage and tell jokes, bro. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> get good tough. at it. I remember I did a show once in, uh, I think it was like Toronto Yuck Yucks or Toronto Absolute Comedy. I was doing the show I'm hosting, and a guy in the corner said something like, "I could do this. 
And I like kind of ripped on him for a bit. And then I was coming on again in between two other comics. And I tied together like four pieces of crowd work that I had done previously. I was getting laughs. And it was this whole moment of like full circle. And I turned to the guy who said that. I was like, you think you could fucking do this? You think you could do this? <laughs> <laughs> fucking bring it. <laughs> what kind of shitty person does it take to go to a comedy show and then be like, Fuck you, bro. Like, like, what do you? It's if we're making it look easy, we're doing a good job. That's part of it. If you if you are coming in and you're like, he's just talking off the top of his head and he's yeah. it's all natural, which sometimes we are. Some guys are just riffing or you're doing crowd work or whatever. But like when your material that's written feels like it was is a spur of the moment, then mm -hmm. you're like, oh, this is exactly that what organic we're, feel to the story. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. what we want. It's that's what forced. we're. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I mm. think a lot of people don't realize it is. If you watch Dave Chappelle or uh, the other um, Chris Rock special, yeah. you get to see how they tie. They're like, oh, this joke's going here. Then we'll follow it up with this. Yeah. It's, it's a whiteboard with how they're going to approach the entire set for an hour, hour and a half. Exactly. And Chappelle does some wild stuff. Like Chappelle will do like five hour, six hour sets where he'll just go on stage. I've never seen one of them. I've heard people talk about them, mm -hmm. but that they're like, it's not funny the whole time, but it's very like you're engaged. You're, the whole time. It's engaging. Yeah, and it'll yeah. go into moments where he's just like killing with these jokes and then talk about some other stuff and he's just flowing, but just to, to be in, it's like, yeah, streaming or something <laughs> it's a stream. being it's live a stream. streaming. <laughs> yeah. But you're the only piece of content and, and like the, to be in front of people for that long, it's like, that's pretty wild. But to, it, no, no one else really does that. No, it's Dave. And he has, mm. I think the gift of storytelling is where he, because everyone has different styles. Like when Chris Rock special came out, I was like, oh, this is Chris. Like, you oh, know, you it, know, Chris Rock. And it's, it's, it's weird watching it. Not, it, it was fantastic, but it's for this day and age, it felt antiquated. Like it just, the first the feel of it. The first like 10 minutes, I felt a little old man comedy. Yeah. But uh, I remember talking to my buddy about uh, the Ricky Gervais special that came out. And he was like, I was watching it. And I felt like this is an old man doing comedy. He's like, but wait, yeah, it is an old man doing comedy. <laughs> this guy's he almost 60. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So the first, but then I think once it got past that first chunk where he's like, everyone gets offended. I'm like, that. Who knows when he wrote that? This felt it felt like material that should have been out like three, four, five years ago. Mm -hmm. But once he got past that, the jokes about Elon, the jokes about Will Smith, I was like, oh, these are bangers, dude. dude. He had some like huge bangers in that special. Did we ever talk about the Will Smith shit? Oh, the Will Smith shit is I great. Don't hear? I, don't I don't think we ever did. No, that's why it was crazy. It's it's well, <laughs> just that cat cat, and then you waited a year, and it was. Perfectly yeah, timed. Yeah, dude. And you're like, oh my God. No, the Will Smith stuff was wild. There's clearly whatever's going on between him and Jada and like that. <laughs> Super whole healthy relationship. Super they're, healthy. They're doing so great healthy. Man, it, it just goes to show that like having someone bad close to you, it doesn't matter how successful you are, how much money you have, it'll drive you fucking crazy. <laughs> what was it? That picture of Jada and Tupac? It's like even, Tupac took the right <laughs> Even Tupac was like, yeah. he got out just by dying. It's like, I think yeah, they like, said he at least he uh, at least he dodged one bullet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least he that was it. At least he dodged one bullet. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was, oh, I don't remember, it was a tweet from Will Smith or some shit this year. He was like, well, it's weird I have to stay at home this year. Yeah. <laughs> like, ooh, man. Dude. Like, man. Yeah, see, and you totally did that. But you got to be like a little unhinged to go walk on stage at what you know is one of the most watched live events and slap a man. And also, there's the whole aspect of the, how much smaller Chris Rock is than him. It's, like, and the joke was not about, like... It was not Nothing. harmless. And he laughs. He laughs at it. And then he, he sees. And he looks. And yeah. then he sees him. He's like, oh, no, I'm not supposed it. to be laughing. I'm not supposed to be laughing right now. She's going to hit me later. <laughs> That's exactly. He looked up. He's like, he's like, if I'm going to get hurt, you're yeah. going to get hurt. <laughs> Run up, slap him. He's like, yeah, did I do it right, babe? Yeah, dude. I love you. I heard some story about Jada where it was like her 40th or 50th or something like that. And Will Smith started planning it out like three years in advance. It was like her say her 37th birthday, he was like, oh, for her 40th, I'm going to do something crazy. And he did this crazy, like, Mary J. Blige perform. Like, oh, this is this huge spectacle. And, like, partway through the night, everything's going crazy. He's like, so, like, are you having a good time? And she says, this is the most disgusting display of your ego. A man goes out of his way to make sure that you have the most wonderful night with the best performers, and it's all about you. And, he, and she goes, fuck you, spits in his fucking face. She's like a great lady. <laughs> what a soul. Wonderful. Uh.
Yeah. I just like, it's like, I sucked his dick and cheated on you. How does that make you feel? Like, yeah. I'm like, like on Bro, a line. What that's, was that? That's insane. What that's was a, that? Well, that's what I think, because Jada, her career has been like nothing. She hasn't really done anything. She was like in the matrix or something. So when she's like providing as an entertainer, the only thing she's providing is the gossip about her being famous, which is just her attachment to Will Smith. And she's just milking that into some sort of entertainment career where she's just l putting their dirty laundry out in public. Like just, it's I fucked. Will never, I, I, I can't even like comprehend <laughs> the thought we're like, yeah, we should go on TV and talk about, about you, how you fucked what? our son's friend and how, how shameless. How, how does this kid feel? Man? Dude, Multiple. exactly. It's like, it's one thing. If you cheat, you fucked your son's friend who was staying in. The, I think he was staying in the house because yeah, he was, he was like, yeah, because he fell on hard times. Like the manipulation and the dirtiness of that whole thing is. You disrespected your son, your husband. You took advantage of a young man. Like it's like all these fucking things, he dude. All the boxes. Yeah, you're and sick, then let's dude. Put it on TV. That's like going into a fight with your spouse, and you're about to like get divorced or something, and you're like, I have so much to fucking say to you. Hold on. Yeah. Boop. Hey, what's up, stream? Hey, <laughs> good to see you, sub dog three three nine. <laughs> like, love your gun. And it's like, what? Wait, <laughs> sub dog three three nine. Yeah, you're doing. Like, you're giving shout outs real quick, and then you go right back to yelling. Like, Yo, sixty nine four twenty, <laughs> butt man sixty nine four twenty. How you doing? The okay, now about our sub? relationship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, honey, why did you? Oh shit! Thanks for the five gifted yeah. subs, David Dude. three three four yeah, two yeah. three. If we hit our sub goal today, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I am Jay Sub Goal. Dude, it's that's like, you're like, and that's why I want a divorce. Five subs, you know what that uh, means? The special dance. That's, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, boom, 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 boom. it starts dabbing. The, the lights start flashing. Yeah, and it goes dude, right we back. We hit our sub goal. We won't get divorced this time. <laughs> that's Streams so like, jokes. Uh, uh, get five subs. Yeah. <laughs> They're so fucking weird. You it, see that stuff. It is a weird thing, I think, with social and all these platforms. There's been this perception that everything you do is everyone's business or that there needs yes. to be this out facing thing. Like there's um, there's like obviously the big like all the Andrew Tate stuff that's kind of like attached to people's opinions and stuff. Yeah. Now. And I don't give a shit how anyone wants to live. But that perception is all based on someone having any sort of say on how someone else lives their life. Yeah. Like they're like, okay, you're a woman. You need to be like this. You're a man. You need to be like this. Whatever you feel comfortable with your partner. There's some dude out there who's getting pegged and his wife cucks him and they do a whole thing and they're madly in love. Oh, they, and they and have that's a, the most healthy relationship. And the greatest just life. But if you follow certain aspects of understand or thinking that your internal thing with a person is anyone else's a business, then you're like, oh, well, we can't live like that because I'm less than or you're more I'm than. Get judged. You're going to get judged. We're going to be told we're wrong or it's right. Like, just yeah. do whatever the fuck you want to do. And it's no one else's fucking business. That's it. <laughs> well, that's yeah, it. That's, but that's the thing. Like the, now you look at it from the other side. It's not only that <clears throat> are we broadcasting stuff or are we we're put more putting putting more stuff out there because social media, but because people have become so attuned to watching and consuming this content, everyone thinks it's their businesses. They think yeah. they can be like, yeah. Well, now I need to know how you get fucked every single exactly. night by your like. It, it's. And so people are like, what do you mean you're not going to tell me every intricate detail of your intimate life? Or they'll just be like, hey, man, you have fun getting that blow. It's like, what are you what are you saying to me right now? That's one thing with like a lot of the content I've created is mm -hmm. there's there was this big push, on, especially on TikTok, where you said saw a lot of big creators. You were seeing like intricate parts of their lives, aspects, their Very, personalities. And yeah. Stuff. Oh, yeah. man. And I steered away from that. And I was like, I'm going to start showing you stand up and my other forms of entertainment that I like to do. And you can consume that. And lots of times people will get me on a podcast or something and they'll be like, I didn't expect you to be like this. I'm like, yeah, because I don't put I the side of you you see on me on social is just my sense of humor. You're seeing mm -hmm. one aspect of me, and the rest, if you want, you can watch me on a pod or you can watch me somewhere else. Which where on Twitch? What, twi uh, uh, little Dinky News on Twitch. Yes, Little uh, Dinky. Little Dinky News. I love it. I would have <laughs> never been like uh, his username is Chet. No, you know little Dinky. Okay. 
<laughs> <Love Link Genos. laughs> Both you and Caleb, and I've seen a couple other TikTokers, they're they have, you know, everything and everything yeah. is, you know, his Caleb W friends is everywhere, except their Twitch is something completely so separate. The, <laughs> the Twitch I went with a different thing because me and my boy Cameron, who's also a hilarious comedian, uh -huh. um we, we we started from scratch this mm -hmm. whole thing. So we're like, well, let's do a different name because this is our it's not a chain or anything, it's a chain cam thing. Okay, and so okay, we're starting okay. from scratch. That's we're gonna have a unique name for it. Yeah, that gotcha. was that's why okay, we went okay, with that. Okay. Um, but uh, but yeah, Chater ain't on everything else. But um, but yeah, that that's the only reason why we did that. Okay, mm. all right. Interesting. Mm. Hey Eli. Yeah. I'm Wolverine again. <laughs> oh, that's for show. What Batty's trying to say? Kershaw's been making knives in the United States since 1974. Hey Wolverine, how many employees does Kershaw have? Four hundred. Stop pointing those at me. Designed, tested, manufactured in the United States. Ching! I'm a crab. No <laughs> matter what someone's budget, Kershaw strives to offer them a value-packed product backed by a limited lifetime warranty from a $20 entry-level knife to a $200 U.S.-made automatics. Kershaw also offers free replacement parts, like pockets or screws. All a customer needs to do is fill out a parts request form from our online website. Use code UNSUB20 at Kershaw.com to save 20%. And if you spend over $100, you get free shipping. I'm Wolverine. I'm Baraka. Baraka. Baraka? Our president? No. Baraka? From Mortal Kombat? The single blade arm guy? You have no idea who I'm talking about? He's the, he's the guy with the mouth that's all, all the teeth. And then he has the two blades that come out, his arms. Just making shit up. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, it's been uh, just the entire, uh, going back to the comedy space, how are you feeling with, um, because Chris Rock talked about the PC thing, he's like, blah, which I was like, oh, okay, whatever, bad old man joke. But it was weird because now I'm conditioned uh, when he brought up, he was making a transsexual joke. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, I was like, Oh, like I, I was yeah, funny, the, but I got uncomfortable. I was like, I hate that I just got uncomfortable for him on yeah. repercussions he might suffer because he just made a joke as a comedian. And I I just had that little tinge of like, uh oh, is he gonna get in trouble for that? I'm like, oh man, that sucks. I like comedy. <laughs> I think we've hit the we're already the pendulum's already going back the other way. Like I think we've already like the I think a perfect example was like the Mr. Beast thing. The Mr. Beast thing where he like he cured a bunch of people blindness. And, and what then, a piece of shit. What a piece of shit he is. <laughs> he, but, he got uh he just got got shit off for giving shit. yeah, for giving a server a car. He got, yeah, exactly. So he <laughs> he got <laughs> backlash on those things, but then the headlines that I saw at least weren't um Mr. Beast is a piece of shit. It was like people are upset for whatever reason. It's always that though. It's always yeah. somebody else is upset or a group of people is upset. For, for some other reason. So I think the focus now is like these people who are upset at everything are wrong. Everything. Yeah. It's like that. These people are, or they're, they, if you feel upset about something, that's fine. You're allowed to feel upset, but that someone else needs to change or someone else is a bad person because you had an emotional reaction to something that doesn't make you right. And I think the pendulum swinging back the other way. I could be wrong, but I, I feel like we just went through what was essentially the 70s. The 70s, you had like, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's a good, very huge social justice movement in the 70s, big women's rights movement. And then in the 80s, you have like a massive punk movement. Where it's like people are like, we're going from everyone cares about everything to we care about nothing. Yeah, love and peace to fuck. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, the world. And uh, generations are very much uh, defined by decades. And I feel like the decade of the 2030s is going to be uh, we don't give a fuck. We don't care. We don't care mm -hmm. what comedians say. We don't care what whoever this fucking person says. And also... I've always been on the stance that like we scrutinize our, our entertainers so hard, but the people who have like a real physical impact on your life, like your, your chief of police, your political leaders, the people who are deciding how much money you make, uh, whether or not you have clean drinking water, whether or not they're going to frack and poison your water supply. We don't even know these people's names. <laughs> 
so true. You don't. You're just like, <laughs> yeah. I could. But t- Dave Chappelle made a joke this one time. I am so mad out. It's Fuck like you get your priorities fucking lined up, and it's not equal. It's like because mm-hmm. there's the what aboutism, but I really believe that it's like if you spend time tweeting about Dave Chappelle and not tweeting about this other thing, that other thing is never getting the attention. You can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't just there there is a what about ism you have to focus on these real tactile issues other than these metaphysical things like entertainers making you feel upset but we are never gonna do that as a society i don't think we ever have <laughs> I, I think we just don't we're like eh, no shiny object fuck that shiny object it's the wrong color dude i think even back in the roman times they would be like we need better gladiators in here because they distract the people from the fact that we got no grain i think it's <laughs> Always it's been so that. True. The dichotomy's always been never been race. Goddamn sheeple. You gotta be a wolf and sheep or something, something one percent. Always been rich poor from day one. And it's like, well, I think we've always been the same. I think we yeah. go through the same loops. And I think the only thing that changes is people think that their experience is unique and it's not, and that they have some sort of tactile hold on the impact of the world when really you're just gonna die and everything's just gonna restart. Most of you, when you die, 99, unfortunately, 99% of the entire population, when you die, no one will remember you in one year. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Hope nobody remember, I hope nobody remembers me after a year. I always said like, cause my, that means I fucked something up way too big if they remember uh, me longer. I said, my goal was just like, give me like 10 years to a hundred years. If I can get where it's like in a hundred years, I was like, oh, that Eli guy. I'm like, okay, I fucking, I did it. And I made that's it. So, that is so long. A hundred years? No, because. And that is insane. But then you have those individuals. You have your Caesars. You have your Genghis Khan's. You have your Michelangelo's where it's like they're going to be known timeless yeah. fucking ever. And that is where you're like, man, you are a sl- out of everyone. There's only a handful of names, you know, from the top Elon, like those yeah. people, will, they made a difference. That's always my goal is like that. But for a majority of people. As you're saying, and a lot of them are going to be remembered in a way that they never wanted to be remembered. Yeah. You take someone like Che Guevara, very anti-capitalist. If he saw himself being sold on a T-shirt in America, <laughs> he would blow his fucking head off. <laughs> Holy like, shit! I didn't think about that. That's yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. bro, like, it's like you can't even you cannot control how things will evolve, and most likely, the human race will go extinct, and we'll just be another speck on existence. Hopefully, so yeah. f- having any sort of sense that you're you're gonna hold hold on to any of this and living your life in a way where you want control. You have no control. You have none. You right. are a fucking dot in a universe. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe we got too deep too fast. I know. <laughs> We're fucking really going hard I mean, on the YouTube's bank. like, oh, I wanted to laugh today. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. We have so many sad veterans clicking on today's video. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, whoa, fucking death, bro. Bro, I need push ups. You're now. not going to mean anything to anyone <laughs> when you die. die. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro. That's a, I, if you took it that way, that's what I meant. I meant enjoy life. Enjoy, be happy because these things are so fleeting and having a hold on things that you can't, if that brings you any sort of sadness or dis- discomfort, no. You just happy. Did you? This is like I love. Che is one of the like. You're just so fucking. A very positive person. No, very but you're positive. intelligent. Gotta be, you're, like you're honestly. happy. You're positive, and you're fucking yeah. intelligent. Is Thank such you. a oh, breath of fresh. Sucking your dick. <laughs> you're just a breath of- I'm gonna call like a CD Stop sucking his dick. It tastes amazing. <laughs> it tastes amazing. <laughs> oh. Best review. That's going to my Yelp. <laughs> Chase dick. Thanks. Tastes amazing. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I got to stop. See, this is the dichotomy of me. Where I'll be like, oh, deep personal things. And I'm like, but my dick, dude. Look, bro. Dick. That's kind of the podcast. Though, oh, we'll, 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 we'll be like, yo, so these anime titties are great and all. But, but the oh meaning my of life? God, the war. <laughs> we just took a quick exit. It's like, oh, the exit. <laughs> okay, yeah. dick, dick chop. Like, oh, my turn. <laughs> How's God, that dick dude. doing? I do need to, I do need to fuck in. I, I'm like, I think I'm on. I've said this on a few podcasts now. I need to get a girlfriend. I need to fucking lock it down. Cause the pussy, it's like <laughs> as you get, I'm slowly but surely getting more popular. Like it's like it's a keeps and as you get more popular. Oh, it's dangerous, isn't it? The pussy, it's a faucet that never turns off. No. <laughs> and it's just the pussy just keeps pouring the out of it. The pussy faucet. The pussy it, faucet. The best way it's like you're in a desert. Yeah. And then you're like, and you, well, and you find that and it's good. And you're like, oh, this oasis. And you open your eyes and you're in the ocean. And you're like, no. Yeah, no, exactly. I want my 
<laughs> You're like, I, I need to, exactly, like, I can't fuck him drowning oh now. God damn. And it starts fucking infecting all the pieces of your life. Like, infecting? Yeah. That's a strange word that yeah, used there. Very, very strange word. That, that was, that, that, oh, deliberate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's been infected a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. And so I'm just trying to like, if there's a lady at home, I I won't be out fucking around. I just need to put a lid on it. Uh, like, yeah, it's it's been. I like you. Like you're acting like you have no control. <laughs> please always <laughs> always put a lid on it. It's that, <laughs> please, it's a girlfriend that's gonna stop it. I need that word <laughs> so I stop having sex. <laughs> I, I told I told my sister about this, and she was like, "Whoa, this is the worst reason to get a girlfriend I've ever heard." <laughs> She was like, you want a girlfriend so she can just bear all your problems and try to make you a better person? I'm like, yes! yeah, yeah. That's I mean, called healthy. Exactly. <laughs> God damn, dude. No, dude. I, People yeah. are throwing you floaties. You're just stabbing it. Like, no. 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 I don't want it, dude. I don't want it. I'm still fucking swimming. Well, it's <laughs> fucking difficult. We've talked. I mean, like the Tinder game or anything like that back in our single days, it was like. It just starts going and going and going, and now my DMs, and also like I'm you're check marked on Tinder too, because yes. or your your if your Tinder account is linked to your IG account, and you have that check mark with yeah. that following. It doesn't matter. You still get banned. You can still get banned. Yeah. What'd you get banned. banned for? They thought I was a uh, fake. No way. Hundred percent. That's crazy. Yeah, no, the the uh, your Tinder link to your uh, yeah, verif- it no, was, but, but verified IG account. When you have a linked verified IG it, account, it, no, but you're an idiot. It's not how it works. No, it, it does. I've never linked my Tinder to you my You can link IG. your Tinder to your Instagram. It doesn't have to be a verified Instagram. I, well, I know that, but if they have a verified number, Batty, it makes a huge difference on the girls. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we're talking about, Eli. <laughs> well, I got more pussy than you, bro. No, I don't care about that. He was talking about it gets the more famous you get, the easier. It just it, like, it goes and goes and goes, and it's just like you. Yeah, no, it is a new drug. It's a new drug. <laughs> It's a new addiction. It is. Well, some, I mean, it could be heroin. It sometimes I'll be about to jerk <laughs> off, and then I'll be like, I don't know, maybe I'll just message a girl instead. There's like, the, I'll just go through the DMs I, when I'm going to a new city because now on Instagram you can search by like keywords. The, 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 the when you post your fucking DMs and shit, you did this. I guarantee crazy. I can open it up and it's hashtag Austin. Oh yeah, <laughs> I I'll just. <laughs> Go who who did I say Austin to? And then I go you 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 and then like I'm in town I'm in town I'm in town I'm in town and just send out all these messages like heat seeking missiles. Did you ever one just put of them all one hit. big group message. And just send it out. Hey. Oh no, I've never been that rude. Uh, I've never been that crazy. Not <laughs> like, yet. Fight for my love. <laughs> Hen- that's a, that Henry Cavill famous where he can just put in all the girls and he's just in one text. He's like. You awake? And they're all <laughs> just watch all the girls. You up? Yeah. Uh, what? Let me suck that dick. Titty pictures come. <laughs> Do you know that? Uh, what's his name? Who's the fucking artist who did the weird, like abstract art? Um, it, uh, Le- no, um, uh, Picasso. 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 So there's an old Picasso story. <laughs> Pat's like, what the fuck? Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> fucking I Picasso. Can... Duh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I like you just said like, abstract. It was like, oh, Picasso. Picasso. Everyone knows Picasso. that. You know, you know Picasso. <laughs> Back, I mean, like, what the fuck? It's a minority thing, back. <laughs> so, Picasso, apparently, this is a, a rumor about him. Uh, he was, of course, a famous artist at the time. But, and then he had these two, like, younger, like, say he's in his, like, mid-40s. These two chicks in her 20s come into his office at the same time because they found out that he's sleeping with both of them simultaneously. And they're like, what the fuck? And, he's in, and they're in his face. And he's sitting in his studio, and he's just looking at them. And he goes, fight. Fight for me. And they fight each other to be the one who gets to stay with Picasso. <laughs> yeah. So that was before you had group chats. <laughs> that's, how, <laughs> that's how Picasso did it. <laughs> one of my favorite things that happens to me all the time, it's mostly on uh, on Twitter. I'll get invited to like a Twitter group message and every name that goes down the list is like baddies, at, baddie asses, bad, like just girls, hot yeah. chicks. And it's me and I'm like, Y'all, y'all didn't look at my name. You didn't. I'm a big ginger bearded fuck, you know? Yeah. And I get kicked so quick. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> and it's always like one like 19 year old fucking kid. And then he he made this group chat. being like, so I just made this group chat to see if anyone wants to hang out and chat. I'm like, what do you, what do you think this it's is going to do? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, that's that shows how horny dudes get. 
Dudes get huh. so horny you know that this. they start to get like, you remember when you were a kid and you would do like weird stuff, like mix different shampoos together to try and make a potion and or put something your dick in it. and put your dick in it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a minority thing too? Yeah. Fuck. But you get innovative. Dudes will start to get innovative. If you, you put look, your hands together like this, like, it's like a pussy. If you look at most things, most forms of creation, they're backed by pussy. Pussy is <laughs> the a driving factor. The driving factor, the independent funder of most male inspiration. The only guy is like Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla never, never fucked. Sl- yeah, he literally said, I'm not going to get married or date because it would be a disservice to mankind. Yeah. And invent- like his own. He brain. was so smart that he's like, I can't let the pussy get in here. <laughs> the pussy. Like, no, yeah. no. He knew how powerful the pussy is. He's like, I got to focus on the science. So powerful. Yeah. I wonder if he's straight. He's like, no. <laughs> See, fucking what's his name? Who's the the dude who Nick Tesla was against? Edison. Edison, Edison was a pussy like, guy. Yeah. As he, was a, he, was, yeah. he was a straight pussy guy. He was guy. stealing people's shit. He was taking ideas. Corrupt. Those are pussy moves. Those are like, <laughs> like pu- he wanted it on top to get that pussy. Figuratively and literally, the <laughs> pussy moves, man. He was doing these sh- all I'm that to think shit. How we can make a shirt out of out of Tesla and Edison pussy moves, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude yeah. And- Dude, it's just like it, that's it's Nikola just like looking this way, and there's just a cat crossing. <laughs> yeah, pussy moves. Yeah, pussy moves. God, and you're good to go. That's actually uh, I didn't realize in that story you had two different like Edison and Tesla that he came to the states yeah. and blah blah blah. Everyone knows that part. But I mean, we all saw the prestige. That's obviously yeah, super historical. Science. Oh, is that what it's about? Is it kind of about the two of them fucking? I never, I never seen the prestige. No. Oh my god, bro! No. Probably my favorite movie of all time. We won't oh, ruin that. You watch that movie. That okay. is one of the best movies you will ever watch. It, it, there's like a weird subplot with Tesla and uh, Edison in the background. It's a, like a, it's a magician Just Tesla. movie. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that the one is with, it? is that Christian Bale or something? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I haven't Great seen play. it, but I've, I've heard of the prestige. Hugh Jackman and uh, Christian, Christian Bale. Bale. Mm-hmm. Great guys. Great guys. But um, oh, Hugh Jackman coming back too. I love that one tweet he did where he's like, I never thought, everyone's like, you look so young for your age. And then that one dude took a photo of him. He was sleeping. napping. <laughs> and he was like, only time I look eight years. Yeah. Eight years dude, it's just napped out. And he's just like wrinkly and old. Yeah. Dude's he, a beast, oh, though. Yeah. Fucking like deadlifting, whatever, like six hundred or something <laughs> like that. Jacked. Fucking animal, man. What was it? Called? Was it, it was Logan? Holy fuck, that movie was yeah. so good Logan's when that fucking, came out. When they was, were pushing the envelope on like violent, they're like, oh, yeah. these Deadpool, I think, came out. So then they're like, hey. let's do rated R uh, superhero movies. Yeah, yeah. Was fucking, damn, oh. what a great movie that was. Yeah, no, Logan was fucking dope. Deadpool, fucking dope. And then now, because of that, we have things like The Boys and uh, Invincible. Oh, mm-hmm. Like, so those good. Good. Invincible season two is coming out. I know. Too, right? I did not wait. Yeah, that's going to be fucking sick. What a... I remember when that came out, Bill we were Trumites. doing the podcast, and Eli, was like, Eli watched Love it, and he was just like, go watch it right now. It's insane. It goes from like a normal superhero cartoon to all Episode sudden, one to... Yeah. Ripping heads. 90s Batman. I, that's what I always say. It's a 90s Batman animation for episode one until the last five minutes. And you're like, what the fuck just happened? And they do such a, I feel like there's a formula to TV shows now where like every TV show you watch, each episode ends with a cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. But it's like, how good can you hook me? How like, because sometimes you hook me and I fall off and I'm like, yeah, I'll never watch again. That show yeah. hooks you where you're like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Like, you're so into it. Like, holy shit. And this season two is going to be fucking yeah. dope. And I haven't picked up the comics. I know the comics are supposed to be awesome. I, I'm, I'm I'm intentionally not because I enjoyed the show so exactly. much. I don't want to. Because I know I won't watch the show. That's what happened with The That's, Last of Us. Yeah. The Last of Us, I watched some of it on a plane because I had it downloaded. I watched episode mm-hmm. one and two. And I was like, I'm into it. Oh, and you then, never. You're one of the people that never played the game. Oh, before. no, I played the game. Oh, I played. Okay, okay. No, okay. I played the game. But now I'm like way less interested in watching the show. Like I even, I got to episode five and I was like eating. I always like to put something on when I'm eating. So yes, I'm same. eating and I'm watching it. And then I know I have a show that night. And I was like, oh, I got to turn this off because I know this gets real sad. I was like, I know what's <laughs> you about. Don't, I, you don't want to go into it fucking I sad. I know exactly what's going to happen. I know who yeah. these two people are. I know what happens. So it's going to get sad. I'm like, I can't get in that headspace before I perform. 
And but that takes me out of the show. Like a deep drama, a big part of it is the storyline. Like yeah. these twists, these turns, these heartbreaking moments. And we know them going. Yeah, exactly. Into it. See, so I was like, I never played the game, so oh. I, I, I I've seen it. Cause I, I did like a watch through of somebody playing mm. it, but it cut out all the the fluff. It was just like your cutscene, so I yeah. got the gist of it. But that was, you know, back when the game originally came out. Yeah. And I haven't given a fuck about the Last of Us series until now. So I was like, oh, this will be mostly new again for yeah. me. Absolutely loved it. But I know if I do spoil myself on thing, whether it's anime and I'll read some manga or it's a graphic novel or whatever it may fucking be. I don't want to ruin it. I'm so the gonna... point is those moments that make you go <gasps> like that is I don't what... want to know what the moment is before it happens. Dude. Are you guys Dragon Ball guys? Oh, I do. This is so I, I bro. Yeah, I mean, let's oh, go. Yeah. Oh, Vegeta, Wait, dude. everything, dude. Well, that's for manga anime. I am probably the biggest manga. Yeah, you're a fucking reader, nerd reader, but I I have my shit where dirty, I'm just dirty like, weeb. Such a whore. <laughs> the biggest weeb for. And when I read these now, I'm like, oh, dude, I want to watch this. I'll start a new series like Blue Lock. If you haven't watched Blue Lock, no, I don't know Blue Lock. Soccer anime, which and my I've soccer never anime. What? What? I would have never watched a soccer anime in my sports football animes. for our European fans. Yes. <laughs> One of the best animes. And I realized I was like, why the fuck is this soccer anime football at the top of Crunchyroll where it's like, hey, F number one. I was like, because they paid for it. No, no. <laughs> it, you see the ratings and everyone. I, it hooked me. I was like, episode one. I was like, I'll give it a shot. I was like, it's so good. I was yeah. like, that Darnell got me into it. He's like, just watch it. He's like, just so trust good. me. Fucking fantastic. Now, do I read the manga and finish it? Same for Demon Slayer. Do I read the manga, know everything, or do I wait? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this sucks. One Punch Man, I've read the entire manga. I know what's going to happen. But oh, for One Punch so Man, good. it's so like, it, dope. did they do season one, two? Did they, did they do a season three? They're going to. So it's like One Punch Man, it, it's been taken so long. Oh, fuck it. Like, read the fucking manga. It's like but, Attack on Titan. Yeah, just fucking read the manga, dog. <laughs> la, 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 la. Yeah, I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read it. Yeah. I'm waiting. I'm going to wait the seven more years until mm. the second half of the second episode of the second se the final, final season. Movie came out for Attack on Titan. You're so mad about how they're doing it. But Eli, do you know this episode is brought to you by Manscaped? E Eli? <sighs> Looks like the carpet does match the drapes. <laughs> and what a great time, Batty, considering April is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. You know what that means? Uh, Have your buddies shave your junk? No, to help raise awareness and fundraise for a good cause. The leaders in Below the Waist Grooming partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to remind you to check your golden nuggets this month for anything not so golden. His are golden, just red. And while you're down there... <laughs> Shave your balls while you save your balls. Support a good cause and go over to manscaped.com and use code UNSUB to get 20% off plus free shipping. Homies trim each other's balls. <laughs> <laughs> Eli, did you know one guy every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer? That's ball cancer. I did not know that. That's terrifying. This is a reminder for you and all you men out there, check your golden nuggets. Do you know how to check for ball cancer? Well, that's easy. When you're in that shower, get that water nice and warm. Give those little nuts a little play with. <laughs> Who doesn't like playing with the balls? This guy, I, I like it. And if it hurts, go see a doctor. Or have your buddy do it. Together, we save balls. Battle buddies for life. To help remind you guys to check yourself for testicular cancer, for a limited time, you can get the special edition TCS Lawnmower Trimmer 4.0. It's purple and looks dope. One of our colors, actually. This special edition is a collectible item. Only 10,000 units are going to be made. So get yours today before they're gone. With the launch of their special edition purple lawnmower 4.0, Manscaped will be donating $50,000 to their longtime partner, the Testicular Cancer Society, to help those impacted by testicular cancer. Get 20% off and free shipping when using code UNSUB at manscaped.com. I repeat, go to manscaped.com and use code UNSUB to get 20% off and free shipping. Make sure you go out there, tell your buddies to go check their balls or check them for them. Check your boys and check your boys' boys. Check your boys' boys. <laughs> check your boys' boys. That's the new saying. It's just <laughs> check your boys' boys. <laughs> 
but, but Dragon I'm Ball. Wait. You. Oh, Dragon Ball. Yeah, no, the Dragon Dragon Ball, like the Dragon Ball Super and these extensions that they've done have been GT was so the best, fucking I heard. good. GG? GT. No, GT. I've never watched GT. No. GT's I, trash. I know so GT. Bad. Like, I feel like I should just because, like. But Marley has green hair. And it's like, well, I, it just, I'll just give it its due, you know? I'll mm -hmm. fucking whatever. I'll get really hung over one day. And then, like, <laughs> I'll come off. And then I'll just burn it. Like, it's like, whatever. Whatever. See, I'll watch it without. Uh, 50 no, episodes or something. 50? Dude, you can do 50 episodes um, That's dubbed. A weekend. That's dubbed. a weekend. It's on in the background. I'm doing laundry. Jerking just like, yeah, right. it'll just be going. But super. There's a lot of stuff that's super that was super cheesy. But that the Tournament of Power, mm. the first. The Tournament of Power <laughs> is so good. The fucking. Do that ultra instinct. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's so sick. <laughs> Bro, and it's like. Do, 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 do. Like a yeah. piano and he's just like walking. Mm. All, the, all the blasts. Yeah. And like, <laughs> When he does, when he's fighting Kefla and he does the fucking oh. slide, the like Kamehameha slide, I've rewatched that. I watched it before it popped. I thought about it because it popped up on my TikTok. People were like, this is the coolest thing you did in Super. It's so fucking sick, dude. dude did, did you see when he's sliding on it with his feet, there's energy balls on his feet? So, no! So that's how he's separating it from the Kefla. When you act, Yo! you're even more in depth on the anime. So that's, if you look on his hands and feet when he's sliding, he's sliding on the energy with his own key dude there's Bro, like, oh i love we're just like <laughs> i've never seen this watch it watch you've it. never seen no, this no watch watch, see. watch his feet watch okay wait wait pause it pause it pause it pause it we need to we need to explain what the fuck's going on okay <laughs> so i've seen the first episode of super that's all i saw yo there was the tractor and he was an idiot again i was like what the fuck so, so oh my god the tournament of power is yep. there's eight different universes I, okay i've and, seen clips of this yeah, yeah yeah and they all have their best champions fighting in a tournament and every time all the champions lose, like your tournament gets white. Your universe gets right white from existence. Yeah. So it's high stakes. Mm -hmm. Very. <laughs> and Zeno yeah, just kills the entire universe. We we probably yes. need one of these to happen right about now. We uh, need to get reset. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, would, I, would, I don't disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Painless. <laughs> so he's Goku is fighting two. Tw are they? They're not twins. Are they twins? No, they're uh, they're, they're uh, sisters. sisters. Yeah, they're sisters who are Saiyans from another universe, and he has taught them how to be more powerful. Because Goku's like, I want to fight you in your strongest form. Yeah, taught him how to go Super Saiyan two, and then they use the earring thing to fuse together. And they're, one's like a Brawly. You know, so one's a legendary Saiyan. Yes. that was the thing. One's a legendary Saiyan, which is Brawly. That's the greenish tint. Yeah. yeah. So those are once every. Period, I think. Yeah. One is that, and she never could go Super Saiyan, and she was a weaker fighter until she went fucking brawly activated. It's a female brawly. She's like this jack. She's a girl. Mommy chick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a mommy girl. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. A mommy. Okay. 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 She's fighting another Saiyan who, and Goku taught them how to be more powerful, and he's about to beat them, and then they fuse together with the earrings that let you fuse together, yeah. and now he's fighting the two of them, and they're, yeah. they're kind of getting the edge on him. It's a close battle. He goes Super Saiyan. To like Super Saiyan Blue, yep. and then he goes Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Kaioken, and then he's fucking. Uh, he's like, I gotta like, I gotta go better, and he uh, it unlocks Ultra Instinct, and this is like the last moment where he's like kind of beating them, and they're like uh, the Kefla is like, I'm throwing everything I got mm -hmm. at you, okay. and he's like, I'm ending this right now. So that's we, what's happening. So in he's this about game. to in, wipe in, their universe time. off the off the map. No, not at this. He's not their fighting. universe, but them. Oh, that okay, okay, okay. So okay. and Ultra Instinct Goku is that like there is it's not perfected yet, but the skill gap the second he does that, it it he's much more powerful. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, the music. Yeah, dude. And this is the first time he's done Kamehameha in this form. Mm -hmm. It's like a nuke of just energy everywhere. Mm -hmm. A Frieza? Yeah. Oh, you gotta watch it, dog. <laughs> watch his feet. So when he's hitting the electric, he's sliding on it. Oh, and you can't fly. That's an important part of the tournament. Oh, okay. okay. So she's like, you can't dodge him midair because he can't fly. Mm -hmm. So he, it's actually connecting with that. Dude, that's fucking nuts. Get fucked. 
<laughs> so if you get knocked off the platform, you're out. So anytime they do, they were breaking down a lot of those fights when he's ultra instinct. Anytime he's connecting energy, it's like, oh, how's he floating over it? You see, see little like, energy b- balls on his feet or yeah. his hands. So it's like they actually animated it. That's was like, crazy. Oh, so oh he dope. broke the earrings. And then they're fucking out. Out. I got to give a shout out to fucking, yo, who's this dude? Oh, um, shit. Dude, that, that tournament of power and yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay. Tournament of power is one of the best things they've done in the whole Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, yeah. like fucking anything. Okay. Vegeta getting knocked out and then he gives us his last energy to Goku. And it is Goku is on the thing. Jiren, the most powerful dude, yep. is beating everyone. Jiren's like untouchable other than Ultra NC Goku. He has a perfect. Jiren's the purple guy, right? Yeah. Yes. He, who taught him to not yeah. don't don't think you just move kind of thing. I remember no, that no. was Ultra. That no, was that's ultra. he's singing a Beerus. Be- oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, Jiren's this uh, bald alien. Okay. He's just like a jack dude. And uh, there he's on an island and Goku's standing there and Jiren's like, time to wipe it. He does this huge attack and then the energy starts breaking. The music kicks in. And then they're like, all the gods, stand, gods of destruction stand up. And they're like, and they're like is it happening? He's like, yeah. He's doing it. He's doing and it. And they're all like, fuck, because no humans hit Ultra Instinct. All of them know instantly this dude's about to wipe everyone out. And then Jiren goes from a god to just getting bitch slapped across. The- <laughs> it's, and then how it ends, bro. Like, just for how it how ends. How many episodes are there? Uh, tournament of just power? in the Tournament 20? of Power. Or 30. Yeah, probably 30. How so. many episodes in Super so far? Like, 120. That's not too bad. That's doable. Okay, It's doable. And even if you just watch. Don't tur- talk to me for the next week. Like, Tournament of Power is so much fan service. Mm-hmm. Like, so many people pop off. How it ends. It's just like. You're like, no fucking, like, it's, I don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah, like, don't, please don't. That's how sick that was. Yeah, that, that's cool. But I just, yeah, I got to give a shout to fucking, in terms of breakdowns of scenes, this guy, uh, Fang Ito, F, a P-H-A-N-G-I-T-O. He does breakdowns on YouTube and TikTok, and he's fucking so sick. This is not paid for. This is just someone I fucking love. <laughs> this is just someone I fucking... I mean, how, many, how much did he give you? Five bucks? Nothing, 20 bucks? Nothing. He's, giving, gift card. <laughs> he's giving me nothing but entertainment, man. This guy does breakdowns where he'll be like, look at the scene. He'd be like, block, block. He like looks and he kicks here and he'll slow everything down, go frame by frame oh, on man. the breakdowns of each Dragon Ball fight and how it's made me appreciate how much work goes into these things. Into animating this, these Way things. more. Yeah. There's so... It's because you see a fight and it's just people going like... Sure, 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 sure. Like they're flying all over the place, but there's you pause, and as you're like, what the? Fuck? They're like the animators see it scene by scene, so they each thing happens specifically for a reason. Like mm-hmm. it's so good, so good, and so he you're makes an, it better. You're an ultra fucking weeb too. I'm not an ultra weeb. I, this guy outweaves me any day of the week. I mean, but, he outweaves everybody out every day of the week. <laughs> but I really enjoy anime. There's very few <laughs> animes I've watched that I haven't liked. I just, okay. uh, when it comes to entertainment, I only have so much time in the day. Yeah. And if I'm going to fault onto anything, I usually give that time to video games. Hell yeah. Okay, before okay. anything else. Uh, uh, like TV, which like anime and whether it's like anime or fucking HBO series, they're all yeah. kind of in the same realm for yeah, me. Yeah, see, I, I'm about that there. I, yeah. I'll do TV shows or anime at the same, yeah. with something in there. Some. Some form of fucking entertainment, yeah. I want to watch Chainsaw Man because everyone said Chainsaw Man is sick. I got to finish it. Chainsaw I, I Man. Season. I've read that one. I still, I've surprisingly only watched episode one. I've read the entire thing. So mm. I, I, I probably that, I know what's going to happen. So yeah. I'm like, eh. It's like my hero is about to kick off. I haven't finished this season, but I know this is the good season where Midoriya, um, he actually goes like, hey, it's I got Deco. Deku. Deku. I'm calling Deku. him Midoriya. Yeah. Fucking Deku, our, our boy Deku leaves. He's Midoriya, like, whose birthday is he this? Leaves. And he, yeah, he's like, I have to do this on my own. Yo, I'm only on the end of season four. Oh, well, Deku's like, so this is. I didn't know yet. Oh, you're not it, gonna miss anything. So he leaves not as like, hey, he's doing it because. He like, stop spoiling everything. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. I don't want to. I don't want to put people in danger. Yeah. And this is that dark. It's the dark era of like where he looks like fucking beat up Batman. He is battle worn. He's not. Like everyone's like, what is he? They see him on glimpses of the news, and it's like the top villains he's taking out instantly now. He yeah. is now like hundred percent. Oh, like oh yeah, dude, he is a hard. I'm ass. back in, guys. I'm <laughs> back in. <laughs> Bro, it is whatever you think his power as you've seen so far. Now yeah. it is fucking insane. Yeah, he is doing everything. I like, want a I'm movie of my hero, but when they're like in their thirties. Yeah, no, no, when they all have figured out their powers. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, they're like, in everyone, their position. 
when everyone in the like they because the, yeah. the thing with the high school thing is they're all sort of like learning. Oh, yeah, there's, there's, there's and as they get, get better, they like when a uh, fucking what's his name when they had the thing where everyone's like stuck in that basement. I think it's season three, and they're all fighting like unique villains. Like there's that guy who's are they fat. going through the hallway trying to get? Trying oh, it's the hundred percent window. The girl, uh, yes. Ellie. Ellie. He uses it, Ellie's power to go a hundred percent. So it leads up to that when like the guy who can make himself himself a rock, like rock hard. Yeah, he's with the the fat dude. Yes. Like, hey, yeah, like, yeah. what does the rock dude look like when he's like mastered his powers and he's yeah, like deep like, in the I, game? I, that's what I, I want to see. Like a champ, like a UFC fighter when he's in between the age like of twenty six and thirty two. Yeah, what does that look like for someone who has superpowers? He's been on his title run for four years yes. now. Like, I want to see All Might. You want to see All Might? I want to see Deku. I, where's <laughs> yeah. the All Might series? That's yeah. what I want. Yeah, because right now oh. Deku with because he unlocked all his eight powers yeah. that come with all for, uh, all, one for all. One for all, yeah. Because one for all is like the strength thing, but then it's all the powers. There's that, eight hidden powers with it. I didn't even know that yet. Bro. Oh, yeah, you get yeah. it. it, it dude, they, you're going to have everything run. for you. It's not. That, thankfully, is nothing ruined. No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm, I'm just more into it now. I'm just oh, more God. Into, dude, I, the American hero. You, Batty, you don't even know the American hero. I do. I've read the manga for one. Uh, okay. Oh, for uh, My Hero. That's the only one I'll read. Yeah. Dude, it was too good. Dude. Like, this guy's a fucking nerd reading manga. And, like, <laughs> and he's like, I, I know. Well, I know like, it was so good. I had a fucking it was, well, I, have it on, I have an app on my phone. Okay? Is that not the, the, the most my phone. badass power, though? Is that like she has the most badass power? Yeah, okay, I got to piss real quick. Possible. Piss. Go. <laughs> I've like, been trying to hold this. Like, no, I don't even. <laughs> Just use your cup, dude. What the fuck? Yeah. This time of year, everyone's talking about making big changes in New Year's resolutions, which is all well and good, but most of the time, this can be pretty unrealistic. Eli, have you ever made a New Year's resolution or big goal that you... Eli? Eli? Yo, hey, what's up? Hey. Sorry, couldn't hear you over my noise-canceling Raycon headphones. That's right. I've actually found that the smallest changes to your routine can make the biggest impact. In the same way, you don't have to break the bank to make big deal purchases. Even the smallest things can be a big thing when you use Raycons every day. Ka-ching! These are real gaming Raycon headphones. They're noise canceling, which is why I didn't hear Batty at first. Raycon is a premium audio at the perfect price for it, so you can build great habits without breaking the bank. Whether you're looking for a pair of everyday earbuds, low latency gaming headphones, or just a speaker with a battery life that'll last all night. Eli, can you hear me over those noise canceling headphones? On this side I can, but if I turn my ear, it's gone. <laughs> Quiet. They're so great, honestly. And Raycon start at half the price point of other premium audio, audio brands. These, these are half the price point of premium audio brands. But like the real ones, not the, this. This was, I think, two cents in paper. I killed a tree for this. Even if you know you'll love your Raycons as much as I do and as much as Eli does, Raycon wants to make sure you feel great about your purchase. They offer buy now and pay later options, and every purchase has an easy and free return guarantee. Also, lightweight. Very, very lightweight. Ow. Ow. <laughs> That's duct tape holding them on my head. Unlike paper, Raycon earbuds, sweat and water resistant. So if you're out for a run or a jog, listening to your favorite podcast, like unsubscribe, you're not going to get all gross and sticky in there. Or mushy like paper. <laughs> Go to buyraycon.com slash unsub to get your 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash unsub. Get a pair of sweet Raycons today. Woo! Let me take these bad boys off so I can hear Batty finally. Ow. Raycon. Dude, yeah, that man. Oh, yeah. I listen to that when I work out sometimes. Oh, Sam. It's so good. Am so I the, good. Do you, you guys watch, work out? No. <laughs> do you watch anime AMVs when you work out? I do sometimes. No. Anime. Oh, what are AMVs? Anime music videos. Oh, no. No. <laughs> bro, it has like, it has like God smack with some anime and you're like, fuck yeah, I'm working out. <laughs> I definitely listen to trailers like the John Wick 4 trailer. I watched a couple times when I was deadlifting. It's like, that so am. <laughs> This hit goes out to you, Mr. Weck. And I'm like, yeah, fuck <laughs> it, dude. He's unkillable. Oh, my God, dude. I'm glad we all have our thing when we work out. Yeah, dude, when, when we work out. It's so much worse for me because you guys have been in the military and have done, like, real man shit. I'm just a guy. And I'm just <laughs> <laughs> 
just a dude being a bro, man. Yeah. yeah. If he's a weeb, he'd be like, yeah, but I fucking can hit a man in the chest from 600 yards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, I tell jokes sometimes. <laughs> My dad lived to 225 once. <laughs> I'm like, that's about as crazy as it gets, dude. Oh, man. I get moto from John Wick. It's real dope. <laughs> I think that you brought up AMVs because all I can think about now is like early 2000, me at my fucking school computer. Being like, oh man, here's Naruto with Lincoln Park playing in yeah. the background. <laughs> Dragon Ball with Follow Dude. Me from Corn. Yeah. God. Damn. Dude. Dude. God smack. Oh, I have all those AMVs saved from my like LimeWire or my Kazaa folder. What you have? You still have? No, a not folder. anymore. But that's a, back in the day. I need. I wish I could find some it. of the nerdiest shit we've done. Some of the nerdiest shit. It's oh, just brutal. Ugh. Brutal. Brutal, man. This is the dreams back then. And that was all I wanted. Simpler like, times. You either got your video or you got a virus. And then you, yeah. and then you just held a magnet to your hard drive and then you started over. It was, it was a simpler time. The poor family computer. Oh, oh dude. Did I you fucking, have a family computer? Oh, bro. I downloaded so much porn off of LimeWire. <laughs> Onto that family computer, I had a bit where I would be like, it would go, can 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 I'm like, that's how you know it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucking, dude, the amount of porn you would download back and then the day. I, I remember it would the take day, forever. Oh, dude, so long. The day so I figured long. out how to hide <laughs> folders on Windows, that oh, was, that was a game. I didn't even know about this. You can still do it. Like right now I have all my hidden folders visible because sometimes when you're fucking with like different types of video games you actually have to go into like your hidden folders on your pc yeah, yeah. but like back in the day when i was like 15 14 on the home on the, the 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 family computer in the living room yeah you'd have like 18 folders and you'd have like pictures and different silly shit and all of them but there was always that that red hair and that fake one that was going all way too deep and it was like hidden folder hidden folder hidden folder because that did anything because as soon as you unhide folders it'd show the complete path to your porn, I like your shrine of hidden <laughs> porn videos, but <laughs> green hidden yeah. videos. The homework file, as people call it. Yeah. Yeah. The homework one. Text. 12. Homework 2022. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> 12 terabytes. <laughs> it's like, why is there so much? Batty, data? You're, Batty, you're eight. Why do you have a taxes folder for taxes, mom and dad? <laughs> Bro, I'm getting into stocks. I'm in the stock market right now already, dude. Don't ask me. I'm playing a lot of Civ. I'm trying to make it realistic. Leave me yeah. alone. Yeah, dude. God, <laughs> what what uh, video games are you playing right now? Right now, oh uh, fuck, what I'm in. I've been doing a lot of Fort actually. Fort has been really good. Fortnite. Like that's what we're oh, streaming. Is that what the kids are calling it. They're calling it Fort. They're calling it Fort. It was too much. The night part. <laughs> yeah, the well, night knife action. Hell yeah, it's a little brother. too many syllables. Yeah. But Fort's really fucking sick. I'm having a lot of fun with that. Elden Ring's been really itching me to get back into because I'm seeing that. all the shit people are doing with these different builds and the PvP and mm -hmm. shit. And people are still finding new shit to do. And I didn't get deep in the PvP, so I want to get into that. Um, uh, what's it called? Um, Zelda fucking uh, Tears of the Kingdom. That's on oh, the horizon. Oh, is that out yet? No, it's May. Okay, it's I was going to say that's soon, right? Soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, RE4 Remake is out. You played it yet? Haven't played you guys it. high five one more fucking time over there. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to play it right now. I'm not in the mood. Because RE4 is very much, it's like, mm -hmm. uh, you're, it's, you're in a passive role constantly. Like, it, the, the, the crux of the game is feeling vulnerable and that tension. And that's not what I want to play right now. We I will talk about that because the scariest part was when I was the girl, Ashley. Yeah. And it is, you have no weapon. I And I forgot about all those. I forgot about them fucking. Oh, games. yeah, for sure. I'm playing a brand new game at this yeah. point. All the TBI experience between there. I'm like, oh, man, this is great. Leon, yeah. I remember him. Nothing else. But when you are on the Ashley part. It was the first time I was like, oh, fuck. Like, yeah. I'm streaming. I'm Why did running. you have to do this? Because Why did Ashley, <laughs> Ashley runs like this. She's like, oh, my God, Leon. And she's, she's running. so useless. <laughs> Dude, so useless. And it is so absolutely terrifying not having a weapon. That yeah. is all it takes for me in a video game. I'm yeah. like, don't. If I'm not allowed to have a weapon, I am absolutely terrified. In a yeah. Video oh, game. for sure. You're completely on the defensive. Your only role is like hiding. I, um, but I am, there's certain moments of that game. I'm really excited to replay when you fight that. I think his name is Belsazar or something. Yeah. The, kid, the, the little, little, yeah. The little Napoleon kid. He sends one of his bodyguards after you and you fight him in a basement. You knock over these nitrogen tanks and, and they freeze him and you just blast him with a shotgun. And it's right before you get like the barrel shotgun that, 
for whatever reason, that boss battle is like sewn into my head because they're like these big juggernauts that have like scorpion tails and shit and freezing them and they're like, and just blasting them with a shotgun felt so satisfying. The tension is so high and you're like, where's the tank? Where is it? And you're running and they're like crawling on the roof and shooting their tail at you. It was so fun. But I just, uh, everything I've been craving recently has been, I want to feel like a badass. And so that doesn't make you real. It, it kind of does, but not in the same way. No, it's 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 a really good game so far. I'm enjoying it. Haven't beat it yet. Uh, people are already finding out little dumb secrets with it, Love which it. is hilarious. And uh, leveling up the guns, all that dumb shit. Yeah, it's just going through it, having a fun time. It just yeah. feels like a fun time. And that's great. All I care for. I'm like, ah, you know what? I'm enjoying this. I'm gonna beat this thing. As yep. much as people didn't like five, I really hope they remake five. Dude, I I just want to watch them punch the boulder again. You know, dude. The oh, that's the one where he's like. And then the jumping of the shark. The that was when they considered yeah. Resident Evil jump the shark. It, it was that. It was, yeah, it was an action game at that point. To be fair, as much as it is a terrible survival horror game, it's a great video game. Yeah, it's it, mm -hmm. me and my buddy played through that entire game because you do it co op. Plays the whole game co op. It was so fucking fun, and you we were just like you're just shooting people, blasting as a co op yeah. like action game. Amazing. But as a survival horror game, it doesn't really. It wasn't happen. ideal. Yeah, it wasn't if they ideal. just took the name, everyone would love that game. Yeah, if they just renamed it to like Capcom's so like Leon's Revenge. You'd be like, oh, this is yeah, a dope. It, game. If it was like an offshoot, it wasn't like mainline Resident Evil, but they called it like yeah, Resident Evil whatever fucking Chris Redfield is a boner. Like it would have been fucking. <laughs> oh killer. yeah, Chris Redfield. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Dude, do you remember the controversy with that game? Well, because it was in Africa. Yeah. So it was like you're shooting black people. Yeah, that it was, was Chris Redfield. So there was an entire fucking shit show because yeah. of that. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah. It was just like, mm -mm, mm -mm. But it's like also, I don't know, they're zombies, bro. Like, yeah. what, what do you want? Zombies can be black too. Yeah. And then when you wake <laughs> up. <laughs> zombies can be black too, my dog. Be inclusive. It was the be ghost. Inclusive. Anybody can be a zombie, man. Anyone can be a zombie. You're like, this though. game's not racist. What's this ghost costume you unlock? <laughs> yeah. Well, first off, <laughs> <laughs> ghosts don't have pointy ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, it's a little weird. But yeah, the, I I I remember that. That was when that <clears throat> whole drama show. I was like, wait, what? That, that was like thing? way back before canceling was even a thing. It was. Like, that, and that that did just kind of blow over because mm -hmm. like that game. So that was until six. That was the best. When did that come out? Because I. I am not plugged into Resident Evil. I wasn't plugged into Resident Evil until I, like No, seven. before that. I was playing that in high school. Oh, my God, 2009? 2009 or 8 is for sure, for sure. PS3. Yeah, 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 yeah. PS3, I, Xbox 360 hate, era. That we're talking about PS3 like it was a long time ago. Because I remember when the PS3 came out, I was like, damn, that's so new. Yeah, dude. Because well, I, I stopped. It's over know, 10 I, I years ago. And I went over to Xbox after that. Yeah. So, like, the PS3 came out. I was like, damn, I'm not, I can't afford that. Yeah. No, the I, PS3. In my head, it's still new to me because I never I never jumped on the PlayStation that's game after. 17 years ago. I jumped on, Holy. I jumped on PlayStation 3 <laughs> game late. Late. 17 years is fucking wild. Bro, wild. 17 years ago is when that came out. In 2005. Yeah, 2005. Yeah, yeah. Going no. on 18 years. That yeah. system is. Oh my. Oh my. I thought the Nintendo was 10 years ago. <laughs> like, like an old NES. I'm like, that was like at least 10. Oh my years. heart hurts. <laughs> What's your guys' opinion on a new Switch? They keep saying that there's going to be like a Switch Pro or oh, something like that. Two or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Updated I just, graphics or what? Yeah, like updated graphics because like the better last system. Yeah, better system. Last Pokemon game was like kind of jank. So it it's like so jank. It was fun, but it was I played the fuck out of people it, but, say it's amazing, but, but you get on a hill and you turn to like, look at the skybox. It's like, yeah, 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 like fucking everything. Like, oh, here's whatever. your 10 frames per second. Yeah, yeah it was, which is crazy. Right. We were just talking about like PS3. That system's a way more powerful than a PS3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's in our hand. We're like, fuck, this, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> our childhood, we would have been in fucking cloud nine. And uh, PlayStation is apparently working on a handheld console right now. So like something that might be akin to like a, PSP, a Steam Deck PS, or something. PS Vita is that what it was back in the day? More powerful. Well, or like because <laughs> Steam yeah. Deck is. I mean, Steam Deck. A lot of people were happy for the price point and everything you got from it. I think what they're gonna try and do because the the problem with the Vita was the Vita had no support. Yeah. So it's like you needed to make Vita specific games. Where I think this whatever it's gonna be is more like a Steam Deck where whatever you it's play on your, PS5, on your PlayStation, you can yeah, play yeah. on this fucking thing. No shit. Yeah. Okay. It's not like what the Switch can do. Yeah. But I don't know if they'll do it because PSVR just bombed. PSVR 2 just bombed. So I don't know if we're getting anything 
like that. Yeah, if they're going to really push the envelope anymore. Mm. VR is a hard one because it is it's an amazing space. It's but still you, so early, though. Like I don't think it's going to kick. F- like, I think it's going to. ten years when it becomes cheap and good yes. at the same time. You need the killer app. I, I have more faith in AR right now than VR. So oh, like, yeah, augmented. Being able to, yeah, augmented is, it seems. I think aug- the benefit of augmented is that it has more applications outside of video games. Mm-hmm. Not that VR doesn't, yeah, but like sure. I could see a, a people in a boardroom being like, Hey, we're going to do this. And like, there's all this shit that pops up around them. I mean, as a fucking D and D nerd, that is like my oh, dream. Yeah, dude. Augmented reality, crazy in D and D. Yeah. Fuck, dude. I didn't even think about that. Like yeah. me trying to build terrain. Like, cause I, I, my big thing with D and D, I hate doing it online. I'm an in-person guy. I love building like three terrain and models so I can yeah. be like, this is where you guys are fighting. And it gives people like a little bit more immersion in that stuff. Being like, yeah, this is where you're fighting. And like a mountain or a city shows up and, and it's not me like swiping through like, because a lot of people do like the TV screen and the table. Yeah. But it's all 2D. It's top down. Imagine. Yeah. Elevation and you <laughs> need to move your character. And like, you have the little individual squares yeah. of where you can move. And it's like, oh, this is elevation. So this is like a move and a half or two yeah, moves exactly. or something. Oh, yeah. My God, and, dude. And all that shit, like being in that space, you'll be able to build like through Unreal Engine 5. Like in Unreal Engine, people can make models like here's a mountain, here's this. Yeah. And you can either purchase that or just use it and then just build yeah. shit in that world. And like what they're mm-hmm. doing in Fortnite 2.0 oh, and shit. Uh, what, what creative. Is, for, no, what are they calling it? Fortnite. I think it's Creative 2.0. I thought they were calling it like Fortnite something engine. Oh, FNE or Fortnite something engine. I don't know. It, but it's all oh in Unreal Engine God, 5. It's unreal how beautiful, like the things people are making with it already. Because if you build an asset, you say if I'm a, I'm a artist, mm-hmm. I'll build a tree. And then I can put that tree on the market. And every time you use that tree, I get money. Oh, so it's like the Counter-Strike skins. Kids. Make. Well, but it's an, it's an asset in the, in the, but you can download it. It's not it's like, like a it'd be like instead of a skin for a gun, it'd be like you made a part of a map. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You can use it. Yeah, yeah. So, but it pays back to the person who created it. So then you can just, so you can just be like, I can dude, put all the shit. When I was in high school, uh, I, I was in 3D modeling, animation. I used to do all that stuff, and then I was ah, army. But <laughs> I made a bunch of like models of like really high rendered we uh, uh high high uh, definition like wheels and in and, uh, and like rims, and I did like. Like, uh, what is it called? They were, oh my God, I can't think of the word. Where, where something, a rigged model of people moving. I and I put all this up on a website called Turbo Squid. Yep. And for the last like 15 years, I've made like two bucks, four bucks every couple months because somebody will download something or a submarine was my big one. I made a full like Russian nuclear submarine with that could actually like have torpedoes launched out of it. Still make money off this shit. So like being, you know, something I did in 2007, 2008, the thought of that being the exact same process now, but with much better tools, make some fucking money, people. Like, mm. learn this stuff. Way more simplistic. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, so, trying to render in 3DS Max or, or uh, Maya or whatever the fuck it was. The mm-hmm. stuff people are going to make is going to be wild. Like, the the Fortnite creative, the problem with a lot of, like, crowdfunded games or crowdsourced games is that you don't have the audience in order to support something that's really good. That's what makes fucking uh, Roblox so good. Yep. Is Roblox has a community that's massive, so anytime someone makes something that's good, there's an audience to support it. You have Fortnite is going to have the same thing with even better tools yes. to create, like, Unreal tools. who Real knows? Fuck. Like, what, you don't, you need no fucking job. You don't need to go through fucking game development school in order to make shit. And then you're going to be able to go in this world and create something just off of your own fucking creativity. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be fucking bonkers. It, it reminds me of like when uh, the Halo Forge came out for the first. I think it was called Forge, right? When you could make your own maps yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and all yeah. that shit when Halo 3 dropped. And it was like think of the craziest thing. But now it's not just, you can't, mm-hmm. it's, you're not just making stuff in Halo. You're making stuff for anything well you're, i mean like i was saying it's counter-strike of cs italy like all those are fan made yeah Fuck <laughs> it. league of legends league of legends is an option oh if yeah that, like all those like mm-hmm. one of the biggest games in the world mirror oh who is the creators Trendomir, um rise and who's the last league creator bro yeah the, i, I didn't even those, know these to begin with <laughs> so those characters the trend character the like those those are named after the three founders of 
League of Legends. Oh, really? So they broke off and they built that from World of War or just Warcraft 3. Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. With the heroes, it was like a hero base because you had your heroes in Warcraft. And it was like, what if we only had heroes uh -huh. and we're battling and they, each other? Yeah. And this is the lane. And this yeah. is how it works. Yeah. And that is how those three individuals started it. They're like, oh, let's do this. And now. One, maybe the biggest game in the world. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Like, no, I, I'm going to say without a doubt, like maybe Money sometimes wise. you have things like Counter-Strike. But money, there, yeah. but league. Money oh yeah, money, yeah. Like the, everything league. you have, like Dota two, then league. Where it's yeah. like, hey, oh, this is yeah. where the pros play. This is where we sell out arenas of one hundred and twenty thousand seats. Yes, and With you augmented and reality watch. shows, dude. You, dude, if you could, and that's another thing. Augment reality, get into that. Like mm. you can watch it. I league is something that I've wanted to get into no, more. No, stop. <laughs> we, were, we were talking about like so, Leon and Houston Jones. We were talking about league today. Yeah, it's like. The two most toxic games oh, possible, so Rocket toxic. League I love and, and <laughs> League of League. Legends. Yeah, and yeah. then that's your like nighttime. You will not go to bed. You just, you're it. just angry. <laughs> you're like, fuck. I this. love toxic environments and games, but I love when you start to get the ball rolling, you steamroll. When you get it. Yeah, when you it get clicks. it. Mm -hmm. Like I, there's, for whatever reason, the character Broodmother in Dota just like speaks to me. Like Broodmother, <laughs> Broodmother yeah. all, Brood, all Broodmother does is kind of like lays web in a lane mm -hmm. and then we'll just take over a lane. And if you come in, it's like you get fucked. And it's like you just, you, Broodmother's such a strong tool, always gets banned. And if you don't ban her, it's like, well, then I fucking, you're not using the, the fucking bottom lane. I'll tell you that <laughs> much. Because <laughs> I own this now. Bitch. Yeah. See, League is just toxic. It's yeah. like, oh, I'm a fucking god now. But then, like, ADC or someone feeds. Or they're just like, I got to go take the trash out. Bye. <laughs> you just see it's like four out of five. And you're like, we cannot physically. If you we lose a player, win now. you cannot no. win a game. So you, And it's a, you're 40 minutes in this game. And then someone DCs or something. And you're like, right. fucking dope. I've wasted 40 minutes of my goddamn life. How I've long the games last is, is, like, one of my favorite and least favorite aspects of it. Because, like. Because I've dabbled League on and off for years now, and it's like... <laughs> 20 minutes to an hour and a half. Dude, yeah. when you get into one of those long games, though, it is such a... And you win, it is the greatest yeah, yeah. feeling you ever. You fucking suck. Yeah, like you fucking suck. You're just <laughs> like, I did it! You know, it's like, it feels like you fucking won a battle, and then when you lose, you're like, ah, I've wasted so much time of my fucking life. Yeah, dude. And you got to find the right character to play with, what lane you play in best, and all this kind of well, stuff. Even more so than oh. you're like, okay, but if I play this character, what are my counters? Or, yeah. or well, what if they're they're probably going to play these characters because those are OP right now, so I got to find the counters to those characters. It's why so many people just play League because it's like, oh, it's a lifestyle. It, it, it fucking is. It's like trying to become a bodybuilder or something. Like You're like, it's everything. I Every time I eat, every time I sleep, every time I leave the house, I'm thinking about League. That's all I'm thinking I, about. <laughs> I gave Eternal. NS Eternal. He's a kid when I just started streaming. He, I would stream League from time to time. He yeah. was like, hey. I remember those can, days. Can, I, uh, can we play together? And I was I was like, no, I'm not playing with any viewer or anything. And then when he was, like, came in, he's like, hey, can we play sometime? We'd love to play. We could do like ranked or something. I was like, eh, maybe. What what rank are you? He's like, oh, well, I have like Diamond on this account, Masters on the other. I'm like, what the fuck, kid? You're in like the top. So it's like Masters is the very top. It's like top then, 500 or something. Yeah, yeah, and then Diamond is also at the fucking top. So I was like, well, hold on. You just want it. And he's a young kid. He was very young at that point. He's probably 17, like doing chores at house. And then he was like, hey, let's play. I'll, I'll help you in rank. Watching this kid, he's like, I'll start a new account. Start a new yeah, account? Yeah, he's starting a new account. I'm like, oh, let's work up through the ranks. And I'm doing top, and I'm a very good top player. And then I'm just watch him like 18 and zero, 20 minutes. And he's like, okay, we can win. Now. <laughs> I'm like, what? We the, can win. What the yeah. fuck, bro? I gotta do, do, do you the trash. We got to win real quick, guys. Here. And watching him just murder the yeah. map as a jungle and watching how he plays. He's just like, okay, I slayed everyone down. And then he's back up top somehow already. And he's yeah. TP. He's like, no, you need to go here, Eli. Okay, ready? One, two, three. He's like counting it. He's sending me videos I don't watch. He's like, oh, you're doing your, your farming wrong. What you need is a step forward back. It creates a space so that way they can push towards tower line. I'm like, you're min yeah. The minions. Steps. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've I've made a decision that I, I eventually <laughs> I've made the decision. I made a decision that I'm like, I, I one day I want to get good, like a high level at a game. I want to play a game at a high competitive level. And I've made a decision that's that's gonna be Pokemon. Cause I'm like Pokemon, yes. it's all strategy. 
Love it's it. like I don't need that quick twitch reaction movement that I'm like I don't know old if I'm too old had. for now. Too old for it. <laughs> but Pokemon, I'm like I can outstudy these kids, and maybe I'll get in their heads, and I'll be like, "You ain't shit!" Like fucking talk shit. And like <laughs> I'll break you emotionally. <laughs> then you're gonna make a mistake. <laughs> and I'll be your new stepdad. Yeah. So I'm like Pokemon. I think not that it's. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy to get good at Pokemon, but it has uh, something that I think benefits my skill set better than like a have counter you, have strike. Have you started your Pokemon journey yet? I haven't started. I'm going to buy a Twitch, uh, not Twitch, a Switch soon mm -hmm. because Breath of the, or, or Tears of the Kingdom is coming out. Yeah, yeah. So Tears of the Kingdom is coming out. I'm going to be getting that. I'm going to get the new Pokemon. I'm going to start my journey. I'm going to start studying because I know that leveling and EV. <laughs> it sounds like you're going to call. I'm going to start studying. I'm going to start my journey <laughs> before I'm, I do anything. I'm getting a doctor. I'm no, get, I'm getting into Pokemon. <laughs> I'm getting good at it, dude. Before you do any of that, go online, go to Pokemon Showdown. Pokemon Showdown. What's yeah, Pokemon it's Showdown? A, it's, a, it's a website where you can do competitive battles. Okay, okay. That's all it is. It's nothing but competitive battles. You you are uh, every you have access to everything, all the items, all and, the Pokemon and everything. And it's just like you can choose, set their IVs, their EVs. Like oh, every, so you can set. So you don't even need to have the Pokemon. You can no, just it's, it's literally just the battle simulator. It's uh, it's for competitive players to get better. To get better. Yeah. Dude, you can shut it's the called, fuck what's up it called? about ever making fun of me with manga. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> with that website alone, you can never say it. <laughs> just, just look up Smogon. S-M-O-G-O-N. It's the competitive where it's got all the stats for all the best Pokemon. The best yeah. team Min comps. Pokemon. Bro, I've done this. this <laughs> I've done this. You're calling me a nerd. And you're like, have you ever heard of this website where you can min-mac Pokemon? Yeah. So Venus over. I was an overnight <laughs> security yeah, guard. Dude. And all I did was play competitive Pokemon. So, yeah. so I have dabbled. <laughs> So then hey, I will get into this because I'm like, that is something I want to do at a high level. I think I can do it at a high level. No, I'm not saying like best in the world, but enough. So you're like, oh, so yo. you go to a VD, VD, VDC, VGC real tournament and just smoke some fucking kids. Yeah, maybe win a few make and a be kid cry. Yeah, 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 yeah. make no, it like fucking just crush like some fucking 12 year old kid who means a lot to him. And oh, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Dude. Like, I'm not going to play ever again after this. This is on my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> Now cry. Oh my now God. cry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm all about it. Dude. I've only had like, I'm decent at first person shooters. Like, it's like, eh, we're in like Diamond Elo, I think, in Warzone right now. But the only games, as I say, it's racing games, the only things. It's like, hey, you're competitive at like world level. Yeah. Only thing. Racing yeah. games. Really? That's sim racing. Sim racing, not sim. arcade. Like, sim yeah. racing. Always top 250 in the world. Like, really? Those are the only ones where I'm like, I can compete nice. at this. And it is a weird thing to be good at. But <laughs> Have you been using your, don't you have a racing sim setup? Mm -hmm. Have you been using it? Uh, not in the last couple of months. When I was doing it, it took me one week to get within like 0 0.05 seconds of the world record on that track. And people, the stream was like, Jesus fuck, bro. You're not yeah. joking. I was like, for whatever reason, that's I'm really plugged good in. at this. Plugged in. <laughs> yeah. It's just my, yeah. the I tism brain. I'm good at any game. <laughs> tism brain's <laughs> like, Okay. Got you want modafinil or something? You taking those Hillary Clinton drugs? <laughs> oh, I, dude, then I can break world records. <laughs> dude, if he's doing this sub modafinil, we got to get this guy juiced up. There's no laws against this shit yet. You Wait, can, what is it? You don't know about modafinil? Go on. Oh, modafinil is like, um, it's basically they perf they perfected Ritalin. It's like, uh, the Rogan's talked about this a bunch. Uh, it, it's a focus drug that it's non-addictive, but it gets you like super hyper, like, wah, like fucking laser focused. What um, was that movie with fucking limitless? They, they limitless, call it the, yes. <laughs> they call it the limitless drug. The military, I think developed it and they were giving it to the fighter pilots and Weird. they start hitting their targets like 30, 40% better. Like it was fucking crazy. And you can get it like street level now. Um, like I can do you it. call it street level one? <laughs> <laughs> when I hear street if, level, I'm like, <laughs> if I can get it, it's street level. Let's just say that. Like taking notes. Modafinil. He's like, I'm taking my. But Pokemon. then also, I don't know if what I'm getting is what they're getting, you know? Um, but it is wild. It's a wild substance. And it's like it, so much better at destiny after this. Oh, dude, you'll get way better. Man, I took a modafinil before, not a whole one, just like a uh, like a quarter before I played Fall Guys. <laughs> so me and my buddy did. My man's got a performance hands in drugs for Fall Guys. We did like a modafinil stream. Uh, like where we're like, let's try it out and see if we're better at video games. We and drink White Claws. You <laughs> we did a modafinil stream. <laughs> and I've never won a crown before in Fall Guys, ever. And I won two back to back. <laughs> I 
It's like, I'm in the fucking zone, man. I am the fall guy. You did not look at chat once, I bet. You were just like, like <laughs> I'm like fucking grabbing and like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and your head, the camera is just like the rainbow. Yeah, just, <laughs> just zooming by you. Your eyes are darting around, pre-planning everything. Dude, we got to get this guy on the daffodil for sure. <laughs> I don't know what this what what they're calling it for a slang, but we we can make it here today. <laughs> We're but gonna make the nap and up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got some matchbox heads, but some it's gasoline. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're doing this. It's a wild one. Yeah, apparently Hillary Clinton and all these like high up people take that stuff regularly. There's a lot of like big um, like health influencers who have, who are like, oh yeah, I take that all the time. I, I'm not surprised. A lot no. of times, like with my ADHD and everything else, I do like when I actually use Ritalin or whatever it is. What's not Ritalin? What's it called now? Um, uh, uh, Adderall. 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 Yeah. It's, it's, um, cause I'm very heroin. Yeah. Heroin. <laughs> Black tar heroin. Wow. Cause the, the VA will, the I VA gives you everything. Oh yeah. That sounds really good. I'll get some ice real quick. I'm definitely gonna need a peanut butter sandwich after this. <laughs> <laughs> need some white bread. Yeah. That Daniel's gold maple wood finish. It's the nice one. It's actually a good. Yeah, uh, I mixed it with my McDonald's Coke. Can I have the rest <laughs> of that Coke? I'll fucking ruin this right, really McDonald's expensive Coke. thing. Honestly, McDonald's Coke is great Coke. That <laughs> syrup fucking fountain Coke. That's what I'm saying. You mix good. it with the 27 Jack Daniels. Dude, it's that's, solid that's how you eat it or drink it. That's <laughs> really good. But no, it, um, the VA will just pump you full of whatever. So yeah. And Ritalin or whatever we're calling Adderall was the first time like, Taking. I was like, mm. oh, this is how a, a normal brain functions. Where yeah. I'm not like sit down and like, I need to do this VFX. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do this. And then I'm doing a billion things. Someone walks in, they're like, hi. I'm like, that's gone now. Gotta focus on this. But I wonder if it's like, like normal brain in quotations. It's like, so say if you were like ADHD and you're out in the yeah, world. Yeah, that'd be yeah. crazy. <laughs> that'd be so <laughs> crazy if any of us were. <laughs> but you're out there and you're hunting and you hear a fucking. You like fucking turn. You're listening, yeah. and you're you're birds, and you're like focusing on all these things simultaneously. That probably would be very advantageous. So I think it's, it's the what PTSD is essentially from yeah. war. It, I'm not, this from war. Even, no, well, it's not even a joke. So what happens is hypervigilance gets yeah. instilled from life or death situations. Yeah. When you are in a combat environment for extended constant, of, yeah, yeah, constant. It's hypervigilance. You have to focus on every little detail, so, and then when you get back, that's why it's like dudes with it uh, uh, uh. and when you go to the therapist they're like oh you can't untrain that you yeah. have to live with that your body once it happens it stays you just have to modify everything yeah. around it so i'm like it's not like it's i don't it i don't think it's the brain doing anything wrong like they give you drugs like yeah. oh you're not you can't focus it's like no bitch i can focus i'm just focusing in everything that needs to be focused on simultaneously it's the idea that you need to be able to sit and look at one thing for eight hours in a row, mm. that that's the, that's the unnatural thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I agree with that fully, where it's just like, I need to focus on a screen for eight hours and be completely crazy and not deviate from it. Because I, as you say, it is the normal attention span. We'll just want to go look at something and say, I'm bored. I'm going to yeah. do this instead. Exactly, exactly. But it is nice when you can just focus on that one it thing is, for man. eight hours. <laughs> I've uh -huh. never taken Ritalin or Adderall, and I really feel like it might be great for my brain at some point or another. It's I, peaceful. Zen to me. I don't know about. I've I'm never been diagnosed with ADHD, but yeah. when people describe it, I go, oh, I just thought that's how our brain works. I thought that's how I was. Yeah, like <laughs> someone said once, they're like, oh, boredom is pain. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's my whole life is just never trying to be bored. That's mm. how I motivate. That's my motivation. Um, you, yeah. right. You go fucking, if you go stir crazy, if you're not working or doing something, you're like yeah. failing. I'm yeah, fucking fa fucking yeah, like, so, oh yeah. my God. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, every, literally my brain's like, we're going broke next week. I am going to be mm. poor and homeless. My son's going to, but there's dick for crack. <laughs> out, I don't know. <laughs> outside of the medical assistance, meditation has helped me with that. <laughs> and almost the, not almost the biggest way meditation, being able to create the barrier to understand that your thoughts aren't real. That like everything that passes through your brain is within the elements of your brain. And so that you can like say if someone bumped, like I had something happen to me in Tempe. I was walking down the street and there was a group of people walking in a line of four. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at my phone. I wasn't paying attention. And then I look up and we, I almost bump into one of them. And they went, watch where you're going. And I was like, you're walking in a line of four. 
Yeah, like, like you could. I, I, where am I supposed to fucking I'm walk? I'm on bro. the end of you. You guys could like consolidate into two for a moment and then go back into four. And I immediately got angry. And I was like, I was like, if you, the meditation thing was like, if you think about this and you let this consume you, you're going to think about it all day. Just let it go. Just let it go. This thought that you're having, <laughs> that you're trying to let impact your physical self doesn't exist. And you're just going to let it go. And then it wasn't until I think I did two shows that night. It was after the second show. I was like, I remembered it. And I was like, I didn't think about that at all. Did it? Could have just it, fought them though. Like, what uh, if you just fought them all? I just went like, you, you fucking just started, started swinging. I need to watch Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. Those four women would have been hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it was four women too. <laughs> Just start fucking night to water place. Thank you for watching the Unsubscribe podcast. As always, <laughs> my self out of dreams and our wonderful guest. Oh. Jay, thank you for coming out. Where can everybody find you? Do everyone can find me at Jay Durena, a C H E D U R E N A on all platforms. A little dinky news on Twitch and Kick and YouTube. Oh, oh, oh all over the place. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll be yeah. back with the after show after I uh, touch the phone.